Yo, what's up, Internet? Your friendly Enigma is here with some Hitman! That is right! It just came out yesterday, and the hype is real! Or is it? We will find out in this video. But, as you can see, very interesting title screen. Very interesting concept for the game, I think. Uh, so we're going to just do a quick little breakdown here and talk about... Is this game worth it? Sort of what's the strength? What are the strengths and what are the weaknesses of this game? So I'm going to do something a little bit different than usual. I am going to start off with the cons of this game. So the cons are it's episodic. I mean, that's fairly self-explanatory, but just to give you a little bit more of an idea of what that is. Um, if you, even if you buy the full expansion, the full experience as it's called right now, $59.99, you will only have access to the tutorial missions and the first story mission. So you will only have options that look like this for your um, game. Now, there are other things like elusive targets and escalations and contracts for you to do after you complete the story missions. Er, the story mission, I guess I should say. Um, but the game has been split up into several <coughs> chunks. And the first expansion, or I guess the next episode, is not slated for release until April, and it is March 12th right now. So, will this game be able to tide you over until March, or until sometime in April? Um, I don't know. I played this game for about probably four hours last night, just getting through the tutorial, and this mission. This mission was actually kind of pretty hard, but I just, I just might suck, so you know. Maybe if you don't suck like me, you... It, it'll take you like three hours to beat the whole game, but I don't have all of the uh, challenges done either. So like you see, you get these challenges, all these different things you can do. <laughs> you like unlock gear and stuff. Uh, I don't have all of that done. So the big con is episodic game makes no sense. Why would you keep us waiting on a super awesome game like Assassin? Uh, the other con is there are some really weird bugs. Like in this mission here, the final test, if you assassin, if you subdue a knight in the bathroom and then climb in the uh, little chest next to him, for some reason the guards can't find you and they can't kill you. Like you'll still see the guns going off. You'll vaguely hear like you're in a like submerged in 79 feet of water. Guns going off. But uh, you won't really, they can't kill you for some reason, so it's really weird. The and then like if you come up just through the tower, or you raise up out of the box, then you'll get more, like so you'll hear bullets ricocheting, it's really weird. Um, and the other, sometimes bodies, like the security guard here, if you have to fight him, I've punched him through a wall on accident, and then it was really difficult for me to get his disguise, and I also couldn't hide him, so that kind of screwed up my mission. So, so there are some weird bugs. Uh, the other con is if you are not on online mode, you cannot complete missions in any way. For example, there was this weird bug last night where, for some reason, Hitman would not connect with my, uh, would not connect the internet. They're saying like there was something wrong with my account. But, uh, there wasn't. And so, I played this mission, got, like, all the way through the... It took me forever to get this, uh... First, uh, get past this first spot, this first spot, and I realized, and I assassinated the target, and I couldn't end the mission, because it disconnected me for some reason, and I couldn't reconnect back. So, if you are not online, you cannot connect, and, uh, your mission is pretty much, you're just fooling around doing nothing, so that kind of sucks. But, what are the pros of this game? The pros are, the graphics are straight up orgasmic. Like... That is the best way I can think of. When I first, when I saw trailers for this game, I literally thought, "What is this?" Oh nope, you don't like me. When I first saw this game, like trailers, I thought I was watching trailers for a movie. That's how realistic it was. But then I realized it was a game. So graphics, like 9,000 out of 10 level greatness. Gameplay solid. Controls make sense. They're explained very well. Tutorials are done very well. Levels are the difficulty is pretty good. Difficulty is pretty good, especially since there's challenges, so there's different things you can do. What? Oh crap! Wrong guy. See what it was. No sir. I mean yes sir. Uh, so 
There's varying levels of challenges you can do. So like this is tutorial mission, probably not a good but see challenges. So you have assassination, instead of telling you exactly what to do, yeah, see look at this. Gives you all of these different ways that you can kill him. And then there's all these different disguises that you can take. You get points for doing all these different puzzles and doing these disguises and things. And uh yeah. So there's all sorts of challenges to do. So you so that's also replayability. There's also some decent replayability because like I said, it'll take you a while to get all the challenges. And um Huh? It'll take you a while to get all the challenges. And why are you coming over here? Crap. This isn't working very well. But, uh, will it last you until April? I don't really think so. I mean, even with the extra contracts and the little elusive targets, it seems like you're kind of just fooling around. I mean, there are some challenges where, like, it changes the NPC every 45 seconds as your target, so that could be pretty challenging and interesting, but I also don't know that it is, a. Uh... I also don't know that it will last you that long, and just episodic release seems really dumb to me. But, uh, gameplay, solid... Finally, thank you, Jesus. Gameplay solid, controls make sense, tutorials good, suspicious. very explanatory, very useful. Uh, and this mission actually was pretty challenging for me, this tutorial mission. What are you doing? Get over there. What? I call hacks. over there. Uh, so, uh, what, 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 what? So my game's like, they're suddenly deciding not to come over here. That's really weird. So, like, here's where I push this guy through the, uh, through the, uh, wall and exit. But anyway, gameplay, 10 out of 10. Controls make sense, 10 out of 10. Music, fitting, it's not over the top, it doesn't distract, you know, you are supposed to be a spy, so it doesn't make sense. You know, if you're in a party, there's party music. If you're here, the music's kind of more dramatic. Um, so that makes sense. And graphics are just like 9,000 out of 10. Replayability, it's there, but again, I don't know if it would be necessarily the number one thing on your list. Here we go, we got it boys! We got him! Finally, that took like forever and a day. And then like, body storage, so that's a good system. I like the obstacles in the game. The obstacles that you have to go through. I feel like it, you know, actually make it pretty challenging. Pretty interesting too. All the different ways you can kill stuff. Lots of options. That's that's the other thing. Another pro is you have lots of options, so it's not like you are just forced to replay until your mind goes numb. So it's pretty interesting. Um, so should you get this game? Uh, I give it an eight out of ten, just because of the weird episodic release and some of the really bizarre bugs that they have. But it's really fun. Kept me really busy. I like the, the, the layout. I like the size of the levels too, like they're actually pretty decently sized, pretty huge. Like the, the Paris mission, it's freaking huge, like you're in this freaking palace that has, I don't know, like four or five flights, like what? It's craziness, it's crazy I tell you. But it's pretty fun, um, you can buy an intro pack, it's fifteen ninety nine that gives you everything that you can possibly get right now, but uh, you cannot, you will have to buy the future expansions when they come out, if you are going to buy the intro pack. So, uh, you know, and there's also a mode where you can eventually, like, mark your own targets and share it with friends, so it kind of adds a little bit of competitive, like, friendly play elements to it. But, uh, it's pretty fun. It's definitely worth your try, and I mean, if you do the 1599 version, I think you'll definitely get your fun out of it definitely get your fun out of it so you should definitely look it up and maybe 
we will see you around sometime. Oh, and also, my stream apparently wants me to play this game. So, you'll probably see me there. So come stop by sometime at twitch.tv slash maze, where I stream all sorts of amazing times. I mean, amazing games. And we also have lots of fun times. But anyway, that's my review for Hitman. Well done, initiate. Like I said, there's I plenty to do, and I think it's very interesting. Just really happen. don't like the episodic release. Also, one more note before we end this video. Apparently the PC stream, or the PC port is terrible. Several reviews on Steam say that they uh, just like could not play the game. It just like crashed all the time, terrible frame rates, etc, etc. So obviously I'm playing on the PS4. So if you are on the PC, look out for that. Maybe you should wait a while. Hey, Mr. Mechanic, how are you? Maybe you should wait a while wait, until the they, uh, until they fix it. But, you know, will this... Ooh, there's the vodka bottle. Uh, but, you know, should you get this? I don't know, do you like episodic? Do you like the idea of replaying like, the same mission a thousand times? You know that guy who flew in from Moscow? Oh. To try to uh, get various challenges. I mean, there are there, yeah. there are things to do, and like I said, this game has its merits. It's very interesting. Levels are massive, but anyway, that's it for us, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you played this game? What do you think about it? What do you think of the episodic release? Uh, but anyway, have a great day. I will see you next time.